I'm really, really excited to bring you um, this Tiger workshop. There's some really great stuff in this. This is using my favourite method of underpainting, allowing that to dry and then applying the next layer in glazes. Of course, this is a little bit longer because of the procedure. It's a little bit longer than my usual videos. You will, of course, as always, get the tracing. The original reference photo, which is from my own photograph taken in Tulsa, and of course the step-by-step -step PDF instructions that accompanies all of my videos. I really think you're going to enjoy this one. I'm going to begin by putting a burnt umber. We're using burnt umber throughout, literally, to deal with our lights and darks. The whole point of the underpainting exercise is to establish the tonal elements of this composition and also to establish our drawings so it's one of my absolute favorite methods and how I deal with all of my commission work. So again it's always just being really really careful about the direction it's that will more than anything will be what gives it form. When you're doing the glazing, when this is dried and we actually switch to glazing, um, the, some of this underpainting will actually peek through and you get this lovely warmth kind of peeking through your painting, which is really lovely. And I think at that point I'm going to uh, leave this underpainting to dry so that I'm ready tomorrow to come and put those glazes on. Well, I do hope you can see the value in an underpainting. Of course, it establishes the tone of the overall painting. It deals with all the lights and darks in the painting. It cements the drawing for you and it really takes the complication away from the painting process. Now, you really must let this thoroughly dry before you move on to the glazing layers. Okay, so we're now on day two. So I'm very lightly going to glaze this over, not worrying about sort of painting around our tiger because we can just kind of cover that up. So we've got some great movement in there to suggest distant trees in this dense forest area. Again, going right up and into the grasses. And again, you'll also see some of the burnt umber is actually peeking through and it's great, all okay. It will give a real harmony to your painting. Again, it's a glaze. This is just blocking in. And again, I'm not putting heavy paint on here. I am just dancing this over where I can see our original underpainting, where it's dark in that original underpainting. So now we're going to start on our tiger. I'm going to begin by glazing this white fur here, but it is important. This is semi-opaque because of the white, but again, you can see all the detail in there. And again, we will just glaze this over. We are going to add colors to this. And as you can see, we've got that underpainting. It all just works in harmony. Glazing over all the underpainting is where all the work, which is why you can see the value now in doing a really detailed underpainting. We've got some nice dark around the eye. So I'm just using black on its own. This is ivory black. Adding these stripes in really sort of brings everything together. If I wanted more richness, I would always let it dry, do the initial oiling out very gently, and then add yet another layer. And you can add as many layers to this particular painting using this style as you want to get the desired richness in your painting. Mm -hmm. 